Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, you guys, I have another, we're gonna call it a category video, but these are items that were shared by members of my Bolo Buddies Facebook group. These are Christmas themed items. So items that like ornaments or decorations, anything that have to do with Christmas. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Seller. All right, let's get started. And I invited my uh, Bolo Buddies Facebook group members to share their best Bolo, their best Christmas Bolo. If you guys are not in my Bolo Buddies Facebook group, there is a link down in the description of the video. Um, I am going to be reading directly from my computer. I'm going to be popping up screenshots of the items that sold. I'm going to tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. So this really sticks with kind of the theme of my channel. Um, what's good about these videos, you know that the items sold, you know that they were paid for, and that it was a good sale. So let's check out these bolos. The first item bought 40 vintage Lennox items for $125 from a family friend. This teapot sold in eight hours for $134.95. It is a Lennox China Holiday Teapot Coffee Pot with lid and spout protector. It's vintage and in excellent used condition. Bought at a Christian thrift store for $2.99. Listed for $100, declined a lowball offer of $50, then took an offer from someone else for $75 plus shipping. These are vintage small ornaments. If you see five inch or bigger ones, grab them. The big horses go for hundreds. Listed at night, sold in the morning, so sold within 12 hours. Okay, it says A-K-T-A, -A. oh man. Um, Dala Emslog, God, I can't say this word. You guys, I'm just gonna pop it up here. That is what it looks like. I have no idea. I'm guessing that's the brand. So it's A-K-T-A -A -A, and then space D-A-L-A-H-E-M-S-L-O-J-D. Is that really a word? Um, wood Horse Set by Eric Pell. There we go, Eric Pell. Um, and I can't read, um, it's cut off, but that's what I have. And then they also included this photo, which gives you a better look. Very, very cool. The next item, Bought off Facebook Marketplace for $2. I had it listed for $199.99 and sold it for $175.99 in one week. Uh, you guys, it's a Hallmark keepsake ornament from 2005. Northern Cardinal, new in the original packaging. You guys, would you ever have looked at this ornament and thought that is a $175 ornament? I would not have. Um, <laughs> Hallmark keepsake ornaments, you just never know. You need to check that barcode. You need to type in those words and do a sold search because some of them will shock you. Um, somebody wrote, my daughter has a similar one in blue from Hallmark. What makes this so special? And she says, this is the first in the series. Uh, the only one that I can think of, that that's the only thing I can think of that makes it special. So she really doesn't know other than I think she probably looked up comps. The next item, vintage Christmas bubble lights. I got these in a lot of bulbs. They worked out to be $2.50 each. These sold within two weeks of posting. If you can find the ones with the oil inside of them, they are worth way more. The, one, uh, the way to tell them apart is the ones I have, the liquid is thin like water. The oil ones have thick liquid with a texture like honey. I got several questions asking about the texture of the liquid. Good to know. She sold these for $100. They are Paramount Saucer Bubble Lights. And there's only four, you guys. Found these. Okay, this is not a Christmas, so we're going to skip this one. And that one. Okay, here's another one. So far, this is my best. Bought it for $2.99 from the Goodwill and sold in a couple days of, for $65 free shipping. Again, you guys, it's another Hallmark keepsake ornament. This one is a Skyhawk. Um, it looks like a jet or a plane. And it's from 2012. And it sold for $64.99. This darling mug was free to me. The person it was given to did not want it. It sold very fast for $43 plus shipping. 
So it is an anthropology bird can fox. Um, it's a ceramic mug. Looks like a Christmas tree. Pretty cool, right? Got this at a yard sale for $10, sold for $49.99 in one day. You gotta love the quick sales. Mr. Christmas lighted brass musical bells of Christmas, 10 bells, 15 carols, rare. There it is. Personal stash, pre-owned, never used, split the plates from the mugs, sold this for a hundred, uh, sold split the plates from the mugs 160 total okay so here are the mugs it looks like it's two lennox holiday and this might is this the same pattern as the very first one the the teapot or coffee pot um eight ounce coffee mugs two of them sold for 70 dollars. and here are the plates they sold for 90 the matching plates so splitting things up i think it's easier to ship so i like to split things up um but, you know, it's completely up to you. Would they have made more putting them together? I don't think so. I think they did the right thing. But what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Okay, this is a glass ornament. It's by Mataroski, M-A-T-T-A-R-U-S-K-Y. Glass ornament. So that's the brand. I've never heard of it. Paid 50 cents at a thrift store. Sold in two hours for $69.99 plus shipping. Um, wow. Very, very cool. And it's just a present, striped present with glitter. I've never seen that brand before, so definitely something to look for. I wish I could see, like, the tag. Somebody put, was it marked? Oh, I'll be darn. Um, somebody put, was it marked? Yes, it had the original tag, and I'm going to pop up the tag right here. How cool is that? Um, that was my exact question. It looks like it's made in Poland. I picked up 20 of these last year, Hallmark ornaments on clearance during summer at Kohl's. They were actually hidden in the toy section. With my coupons and discounts, I paid about a dollar each. I'm officially sold out now. I will be sourcing the after Christmas sales for them again. So this is a retail arbitrage where you, you're searching clearance after the season's over and you're holding on to them until next season. Um, what did she say? She bought 20. And this is just a bread and butter, but when you have a bunch, it adds up. And it says Hallmark Sweet decade 2020 candy snowman series first keepsake ornament so these are the 2020 so let's say somebody gets the 2021 this year and they're like oh i don't have the 2020 those are your buyers okay they're going to come and they're going to come and look for those so this sold for eleven dollars and 99 cents plus shipping so she had twenty dollars in all of them if she sold all 20 that's 220 dollars so again it's a bread and butter item that adds up. It's one listing, multi-quantity, sell, sell. Scored this darling, um, pristine pink Santa at a local thrift store for $3. Started the auction at $199.99 and let it ride. It sold for $306.15. Um, the buyer paid the shipping and it went out today. Um, she said, happy holidays, Bolo Buddies. Love this group. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. And I ended up um, messaging in the comments, was he marked Howard um, Gale anywhere? And I said, I have one to sell and I'm pretty sure it's a Howard Gale. She said, no signature, but the face and those markings are absolutely Harold Gale. I just researched and matched the look. Sell the Santa ASAP. I'm watching the newest Bolo video right now. You're one of my favorite YouTubers. Oh, thank you. <laughs> um, so anyway, I ended up going live on my reseller testing Bolo products channel. I think it was that night. And I was trying to figure out if that's what I had. Or maybe I had already gone live. I can't remember. But I ended up listing it right after this post. And you guys, that Santa sold, I think it was for $588. This is mine. Got it at a garage sale for $10. How awesome is that? So, um... Very, very cool. But I saw hers and I was like, ooh. Okay, the next one. Got this guy given to me. Sold within three days. It looks like it sold for $63. It's a vintage Rushton Company Coca-Cola stuffed plush. So Rushton is typically a big money bolo. This only went for $63. So I don't know um, if maybe the Santas don't go for as much or if the seller underpriced it. 
Um, I'm guessing they probably did their homework. 63 is still great, but some of those rush gins can go for three, four, five hundred dollars If you guys haven't seen my um, plush video, that plush that sells for big money, um, I talk about some of those in that video. So you can check that out. This is what it looks like. Um, these are not, they didn't understand the assignment. No, I'm kidding. Um, it wasn't a Christmas bolo. All right, we're going to keep going here. Kitty Cucumber Music Boxes. Picked up at the Salvation Army for $2.99 each, and they went global shipping program. And it says Rare Schmid Kitty Cucumber Music Box. There's two of them, and each one sold for $49.99. I'm going to pop each one of them up here. Never heard of that brand. Um, it's hard for me to see the picture from on my computer, but I, it should be easier to see when I pop it up. The next item is not a Christmas bolo. So you guys, if you shared a bolo under the Christmas post and I'm not sharing it in this video, um, please take a minute to go and share it under one of the other featured, um, featured posts. January will be the next one, probably. I don't know when I'm going to post this video. So bought at Value Village for $6.99, sold for $149.99 plus shipping. They paid $27 plus and I paid $15. So you guys, it's a Danbury Mint San Francisco 49ers Christmas tree and it lights up. It's a football decor. This sold for, um, it looks like she took a best offer of $149.99. Yeah, I've got some Danbury Mint um, items. I actually have two that are listed. I've sold one of them. And I'm just waiting on the right buyer. They're the Bird Watcher series, and they're really hard to find. And um, one's a snowman, and they have these birds. I think I sold the reef, and I think I still have a tree left. Um, but they're amazing. Okay, Precious Moments Miniature Ornaments. I paid $0.25 cents at my local thrift store. Sold for $23. I was asking $25. Sold on Mercari. Sold in one week. Um, Mercari is great for Christmas items. Mercari is also great for toys. Mercari is just great. Um, if you're not on Mercari, I highly recommend it. I do have a, uh, invitation link down below where you guys get coupons when you sign up and then when you list and sell a hundred dollars and then they also shoot me a coupon when you do those things. So, um, I think you have to buy something and then sell a hundred dollars worth of stuff for me to get anything, but that's cool. Um, I'd appreciate it if you'd use that link. Um, it's down in the description along with other stuff that like my Facebook groups and Instagram and all that stuff. It's all linked down below. Bought a collection of vintage Christmas decorations, two totes worth at an estate sale for $50. So I have one to $2 into this and sold for 45 list price. Vintage snowman with top hat, earmuffs, ceramic figure, bank bust, frosty, mid-century modern, MCM. Um, this is super, super cool. I love stuff like this. Um, really, really neat piece. Last day at an estate sale, I somehow missed this on the first day when I picked up the Lighted Angel for $10. I saw it in the sales company's second day listing, crossed my fingers that it would still be there, and it was. Originally $10, and it was half off, so only $5. Sold for full price of $100. I still have the Angel as the lights weren't working, and I'm trying to source a new set of lights for it. Uh, so this is an Empire Nativity Star with light in the original blocks, and it is a blow mold, and it sold for $100, and that is cool. Picked up these two Mr. Christmas animated department stores at a yard sale for $5 each. Sold in my antique booth for $200 for the pair. Check it out. And I love how he has these displayed in his antique booth. This comes from um, Franklin Hills, Franklin Hill Ventures. And he is a featured um, Bolo Buddies member. So um, I should say he's a Bolo Buddies member. So I'm going to give him a shout out and feature him and pop up his YouTube channel. So definitely go and sub him up, you guys. If you wanna know more about booths and selling in booths in general, definitely check him out. But he also sells on, I think he's on Poshmark, Mercari, eBay, not sure where else, but he has a lot of knowledge and he is a bolo finder. So check him out. Picked up this lot of plush for $25 on Facebook Marketplace, sold in less than a week for 300. It is Ru Rudolph Island of Misfit Toys, 20 CVS Stuffins Christmas. Check it out from 1999. Now I totally would have grabbed that. So fun. 300 bucks. That's awesome. 
uh, purchased Boys and Girls Club of America thrift store, paid $20 each, also purchased a red one that has not sold yet, accepted 260 plus shipping on eBay. Especially sweet purchase since this is from one of the more pricey thrift stores I shop at. Please note this is a Waterford crystal, not to be confused with Marquis by Waterford, which is still nice, but of lesser value. Great tip. Thank you. Um, this, it looks like it sold for $260.99 plus shipping. And this is what it looks like. Um, all right, let's see what else we have here. Not big money, but got this vintage mini nativity for 75 cents at a thrift and sold for 25 yesterday. Vintage kitsch is often an easy flip. And I have sold these also. They're like mini. They're little miniature like plastic nativities and they do sell. 25 bucks is, that's great. I mean, to me, that's a great bread and butter item. Okay. Um, bought it in a state sale for $2.50. It was 50% off day. Got it in Georgia three weeks ago. Sold for full asking price. It is St. Nicholas Christmas Village Decor by Lemax, and it sold for $49.97, buyer paid shipping. And here is a close-up. How cute is that? Got these for free thanks to a freebie alert app. Sold in two days for full asking price on Mercari. It is um, a big lot of, I'm guessing that L is silent, Jungstrom's. Handmade original Sweden wood Christmas decorations. These are cool. They sold on Mercari. Again, you guys, you got to check out Mercari. $90 um, and the buyer paid shipping. I also have a video that shows you guys how to list from your desktop on Mercari, which is pretty much the same as listing from your phone on Mercari. It looks like this. You guys can go check that out. But what I do is I just list everything on eBay and then I cross post from eBay to Mercari and Poshmark. Um, so much easier that way. The cross posting extension that I use is list perfectly. I love it. You guys, if you're new to my channel, you probably never heard me talk about it. If you've been here a while, sorry, you're going to hear it again, but I love it. Um, if you use coupon referral code Bolo Buddies, all one word, that will get you 30% off your first month. There is a link to the video where I show you how I use list perfectly down in the description along with that coupon code. But I want to find some of these Santas. I would be tempted to keep these. They are so cute. Sold in one day, paid $2.99 at the Salvation Army and sold for $32.99 plus shipping based on comps for similar vintage tree toppers. This is so cool. Um, it's a vintage tree topper, Star Christmas, Italian lit sun catcher, Italy lighted lights. $32.99 plus shipping. This comes from Be Carried Away. That is her YouTube channel. I will pop it up here. She is a Bolo Buddies member, um, so I'm going to feature her store. If you guys are interested in joining memberships, there is a join button down by the thumbs up. Um, you can join there or you can go down to the description of the video if you don't see it and you can join memberships there. If you want to get the shout outs, you have to join at level two. It's $4.99 a month. Um, be Carried Away. She is also a moderator of the Facebook group, so give her a sub and tell her thank you for helping keep the Facebook group under control. You guys, we're at what? Almost 43,000 members in our Facebook group, so going strong, but it's a lot of work to try to uh, keep track of everyone, so be carried away. Check her out. All right, got this at Dirt Cheap, paid 30 cents each. Most Pier 1 have gone out of business, so anything Pier 1 that is an ornament could be a bolo. Sold all three sets of 10 ornaments, each in a matter of two weeks. Okay, so this comes from Money Making Mama. She is also a Bolo Buddies member, and she buys from a place called Dirt Cheap, <laughs> and she finds crazy deals. Check out these Pier 1 ornaments, you guys. And definitely go check out her channel. I'm going to post it here. And if you want to learn about Dirt Cheap, I don't know if you have one near you. I don't. I wish I did because she is making, I mean, it's retail arbitrage, but she is just doing so good. If you go watch her what sold, you'll see what I mean. Paid like 66 cents at the bend. Sold for 29 with 24 hours, within 24 hours of listing. Don't pass up on needlepoint knit stockings, even personalized. I had saw it on another YouTube so had boloed it, and that's how I knew what to get. Um, so this one is already, it's already finished. Um, and it sold for $29.99, free shipping, and it has the name 
Chad on it. So that could be good if you know someone named Chad. But it's a good point. It's definitely a good point. Um, I have mixed emotions of joy and regret on this one. These adorable baby reindeer salt and pepper shakers I got at a garage sale for 50 cents. I looked up comps and saw that one set had recently sold for over $300 and another for a hundred. It was such a broad range. I didn't know what, I did not want to list them. I did not know what to list them at. So I did an auction style, but started with a low bidding price to attract more watchers. Someone bid the starting price at $59.99 early in the auction. It accumulated nine watchers, so I was hoping for a bidding more at the end, but it never happened. And the first and only bidder won the item. It was still a huge profit margin for me, but I'm thinking I should have started with a higher starting bid or done a buy it now with best offer. These are darling. They are Norcrest made in Japan. I love made in Japan. I have a whole video talking about made in Japan items. You should definitely check that out. It's a category video. And these are salt and pepper shakers. So... What I always tell people when I do an auction, I start it at the minimum I'm willing to take. So if I would have seen that they ranged from 100 to 300, I probably would have started my auction at $149.99. And if it didn't sell, I probably would have done a buy it now at 300 or best offer. But I have a tendency to list things on the higher end and put that best offer there. And I sell most of my items on best offer. Okay, you guys. That concludes this video. Let me know in the comments what you guys would have done in that situation. Um, how would you have listed the reindeer, knowing that comps were at 300 and at, at 100? Um, thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to uh, join my Facebook group. Check the featured or announcements section for more posts like this. If you want to share a bolo, I will feature it in this video. Um, if you want to get a shout out for your YouTube channel or your eBay store, um, you can join memberships and I will shout it out like I did a couple of the others that actually um, left a post in the comments. So check that out if you're interested. If not, no worries, no pressure. My channel is completely free. That is just something I offer as a perk um, for people trying to, you know, get the word out about their channels and their eBay stores. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching and I'll see you at the next one. Be sure to check out the description of the video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.